Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Explore. In this tutorial, we are going to assemble Boxer 4 engine. So let's start. From file, select new, then select assembly, then click OK. Now click on the Boxer 4 crankshaft, then click on open. Put it on the middle. Right click over the part and select float. Right click over right plane and select normal. Right click again and select sketch. Select center line and draw a vertical center line and a horizontal line connecting the origin point. Now exit the sketch. Now press control and click on this cylindrical surface and this line. Then click on make. Select concentric, then click OK. Now click on this vertical center line and this surface, then select coincident, then click OK. Now the part can be rotated freely. Right click over top plane and select normal tool. Right click again and select sketch. Now select center line. Put the cursor over this edge and the midpoint will be shown. From the previous center line, draw a vertical line crossing the midpoint. Repeat the same process in opposite direction. As two adjacent piston is directed in opposite direction in boxer engine. Now exit the sketch. Click on insert component and insert first seven components. Left click to put the parts in your desired location. Now press control and click on the tangential surface of the piston ring and the cylindrical pocket of the piston, then click on make. Now expand insert component and select copy with mats. Select the piston ring. For concentric, select the cylindrical pocket. Then it asks for the coincident. Then select the upper surface of the pocket. Then click OK. Press Ctrl and select the tangential surface of oil ring. Then select the cylindrical pocket. Then click on mat. Then select concentric. Then click OK. Select the upper surface of the pocket and the upper surface of the welding. Select coincident, then click OK. Then close mate. Expand insert component and select copy with mate. Select the welding, then click on next. It asks for concentric, so select the cylindrical pocket. Then it asks for coincidence, so select the lower surface. Then click OK. Now close it. 
press control and click the tangential surface of the expander and the cylindrical surface of the pocket then click on mate select concentric then click ok now select this edge of the expander and the lower end of the ring then click on coincident then click ok now close the mate Now expand piston and press control and select the front plane. Expand piston pin. Keep pressing control and select the front plane. Then click on make. Select coincident then click OK. Now click on the cylindrical surface and the internal hole of the piston. Select concentric and click OK. Now press control and select the front plane of the piston. Expand connecting rod. Keep pressing control, select the front plane. Then click on make. Select coincident, then click OK. Select the outer surface of the piston pin and select the internal hole of the connecting rod. Select concentric and click OK. Now select this part, right click over it and select move with tag. Then rotate this part. Click on this surface and press control and click on this surface. Click on make. Select coincident, then click OK. Select this hole and select this hole. Select concentric, then click OK. Similarly, for these two holes, select this surface and this surface of the crankshaft. Select concentric, then click OK. Now expand advanced mates, select width, click on this surface and this surface. And to the next step, select this surface, select this surface. So these two surfaces will be positioned in between of the previous two surfaces. Then go to standard mate again and select the cylindrical surface of the piston and select the center line select concentric then click ok if you rotate the crankshaft now you, you can see a reciprocating motion of the piston Now we need to adjust the gap of the piston rings. First two gap will be in 180 degree with each other. And the welding gap will be at 90 degree with first two.
now we need to lock the rotation of these rings so expand the mesh and put the cursor over the concentric relations right click over it and select edit feature click on lock rotation and click ok now repeat the process for rest of the rings if you have confusion to find the relevant concentric relation then put the cursor over the concentric relation and you can see a color change and that will help you to find the proper concentric relation after locking rotation you can see a blue dot will be appeared at the middle of concentric sign Now expand insert component and select copy with mates. Select all of these parts. The color change indicates the part is selected. Then click on next. At first it asks for concentric. So select this surface. Now this asks for width, so select these two surfaces. Now select center line, then click OK. Now repeat the process. If you get confused with similar type of command, then try to follow the violet color that shows with each command, which will help you to select the proper surface. Now close the mate. Now check it. Go to file and save it. 